Hey everybody, what's up? It's Nick here, and in today's video I'm going to give you guys another little Final Cut Express video tip. In today's video I'm going to show you guys how you can go ahead and drag and drop clips into the timeline and view them in the preview window without having to render. Now, if you guys know Final Cut Express, you know that if you have any kind of footage uh, that isn't special footage that's like recorded off of a camera or something or not in the right codex. If you have any other kind of footage you drag and drop it into the timeline and you get a little red bar up above it and once you have that little red bar what that means is you need to render the video and normally to render that video you'd go to sequence render and you'd render the video. However that gets a little annoying or not really a little annoying a lot annoying. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how you can go ahead and convert your video files so that, you can, so that you can go ahead and just drag and drop them into Final Cut Express or Final Cut Pro and not have to render. So anyway, as you guys can see here, I've got a little clip in my timeline. If I go ahead and uh, go over here to the preview window and I uh, play it, as you guys can see here, it's the same footage from the last video, but as you notice, I didn't have to render it. Now you guys are probably saying, well, Nick, you could have just dropped that in there and just rendered it out. Well, no. Let's see if I delete that. Then I take the footage and drag it in. And then I go ahead and play it. Boom. I didn't have to render it. So anyway, to go ahead and do this, we're going to need one free piece of software that is available for Mac and Windows. But however, you will only need this on a Mac because it's only for Final Cut Express. The software is called MPEG Stream Clip, which you can download here from squared5.com. Download the Mac version here. I'll post a link to this in the video's description as well as I'll probably do a review on this video right after I film this one. So anyway, just go ahead and download MPEG Stream Clip and then go ahead and launch it up. Now before I go ahead and launch it up, I'm going to delete everything that's here in my Final Cut Express bin so we can start fresh and I'm even going to delete all of my files that I did for the effect. That's perfectly fine. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go down here and launch up MPEG Stream Clip and then go ahead and take your video file and drag it in. So um, this, here it is, here's my video file and that's uh, the video file. I don't know what's up with this little red thing but uh, hopefully that's just a little glitch in MPEG Stream Clip. So anyway, the method that I'm going to be showing you guys right now is how to do it in HD for 720p. If you don't have a 720p camera, then I don't know what the settings are. The settings will depend varying on whichever kind of quality you shoot in. However, I'm going to be demonstrating for 720p HD. So the first thing we're going to need to do is to convert this. We're going to go to File, con Export to QuickTime, and then we're going to change it to the Apple Intermediate Codec. We're going to keep the sound like this. Make sure it's set to 1280 by 720. Change the frame rate to whatever your frame rate is. Mine's 30. And we're going to click the interlace video here. Now something I suggest for you is to go down to presets and go down here to new and then just go ahead and save the preset that you just made. However, as you see here, I have one that says FCE, which stands for Final Cut Express, which is the preset which I already made. So I just go ahead and click load. And then I'm going to click make movie. I'm going to just name it something random and click save and then as you can see here it's exporting to my desktop and then now that it's done as you see here we've got the video over on the desktop so now all we need to do is we need to go and load it with Final Cut Express so I'm just gonna drag it into the little Final Cut Express bin here there we go and now I'm gonna go to file and create a new sequence just because we need a new sequence and I'm going to go to the sequence settings and do the same thing that I did from the last tutorial which was make it 720p settings then I'm just going to double click on the sequence and uh, expand the window here and now I'm just going to go ahead and take my footage and drag it in now, now you could get this little pop-up message that says attention this clip does not match the sequence settings or any of your sequence presets uh, that's fine just click OK it'll reset and then as you notice I can play the video without having to render it. Just to prove it to you again, I'm going to drag it back in. And it's playing without having to render. And that is a very, very useful trick in case you guys are having to render everything constantly over and over again when you're exporting with Final Cut Express. However, if you do find something that needs to be rendered, all you need to do is go up to Sequence and Render Selection. But anyway, that's 
pretty much it for the tutorial. All you need is Final Cut Express as well as MPEG Stream Clip. You can go ahead and download MPEG Stream Clip from this video, or not this video, this link right here, which I'll provide in the video's description. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any more suggestions for some videos you want to see me do in the future, leave them in the comment section below, and I will mention you in the next video. Alright, that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.